crazy. All right, so, oops, keep playing with my gimbal wrong. Oops. I'm almost thinking I should get out a second flashlight now. Whoa. <laughs> Stepped on a loose rock. A lot of small rocks underneath me now. Some are looser than others. There's that. Notice how it almost broke off nice and flat right there as it was forming. Interesting. Hmm. Well, I'm trying to be quiet, but there's a lot of loose rocks here. Luckily, I don't see any sign of bats. If I see any bats, I'll whisper. Be careful not to point my flashlight out. I don't think I've ever seen a bat in this cave, though. Look how black it is down here. Oh. It's starting to get sparkly. Like I think it's gonna form frost pretty soon if it's not already frost. Seems like it's below, above freezing still. It's not too cold down here. I'm nice and warm, but maybe I acclimated, I don't know. And there's a breakdown pile ahead. Oh yeah, we got iced, holy cow. Dude, I was here like two weeks ago. The video didn't come out, so I didn't upload it, but there was no sign of ice. Now look at this. This is a nice big icicle for me. And this, this is not even winter. This is the end of fall. It's November 25th. So yeah, look at that. That's pretty. For those of you who can't tell. <laughs> Let's see if I can get closer. Oops. The floor is a bit uneven here. So I'm gonna put my hand next to it. And obviously that's just, you can see it's maybe four inches long. So it's not super big, but like I said, around here, this is about as good as it gets. Unless you want to go all the way to the South Ice Cave near Polina Peak. I don't know if I'll do that one this winter. Kind of scary. Oh wow, up here on the ceiling, there's a few small ones forming too. That would explain why there's no bats, they'd probably freeze. But yeah, so a... let's see if I can get in closer. So there's like two little icicles there. One icicle there. It's probably still forming. You saw a drop of water fall off. So, I mean, yeah, I don't know if they're currently getting bigger or smaller, but anyway, it's right at the border there. Notice how from looking ahead, it looks like the cave is totally blocked until a few years ago. That's what they thought was the case. This was the end of the cave. It was actually filled with ice. It was blocked with ice, but as you can see, well, actually, you can't see yet, but keep watching. You will see. This white stuff here is not ice. This is normal. I think it's some sort of cave slime. Perfectly normal, healthy, good, awesome, beautiful, etc. Wow, man, I might have to try coming back in the winter, but I don't know about getting down in here in the winter. Maybe I'll just put my GoPro on a rope and throw it in. <laughs> Just kidding, that'd be kind of sloppy. Oh, there's another icicle. Starting to just form. Oops, I just touched the ceiling. But there, so it's only like one inch, two inches long. Not big at all. We'll call that a rough draft. Awesome. So now is where the cave gets small. I got knee pads on, but it's going to be slow going. Just have to be careful and be patient. It's 
see here. Okay, man, I need to get some elbow pads. That's on my to-do list. Anyway, let's see if I can put my flashlight down somewhere without it rolling away. I need to rig it so it's not round on the bottom. If I put it down, it wants to tip over. All right. Notice there's arrows here. It's like a red one pointing left, which is the way into the cave. The purple one pointing right, which is the way out of the cave. Of course, you have to be told that you really don't belong in a cave, but whatever. Okay. I'm gonna adjust my camera here a bit. Seems to be coming loose. There. You can see a bit of the... Okay. Now I can keep going a little bit. Let's see if I can be very careful here. Trying not to let my camera block the light from the flashlight. The previous draft of this, I kept getting the shadow of the camera in the video. And they're so close together that there was a lot of light being blocked. Okay. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna put the flashlight down for a bit so I can have my hands free. Oh, come on. To move my backpack forward. Okay. I'm like seriously lying on my stomach here. Come on. You hear me grunting? It's not just that I'm out of shape. I'm like crawling through these rocks here. Like lying on my stomach so I can't breathe. <sighs> okay, so now I'm gonna move my backpack forward a bit. Try to do that gently so I don't scrape up the cave or anything. Gently putting my backpack down. 